Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Skill Level. I know why you are here because you all are trying to prepare for the PL300 exam. So I too uh, cleared my exam in the uh, month of December 2024, and uh, I had a few of challenges and things that I learned on the way when I was trying to uh, give my PL300 exam. So uh, that is what you know I'm sharing here, helping you all uh, to pass this exam. So. Today, this particular video is more about how much time you would need to prepare for this exam. So this is from someone uh, who is not from a tech background or who had hardly few months of Power BI experience. So um, my Power BI experience uh, was like around like six to one year, very mild. Um, I was not totally into it. I was not a Power BI developer. So I'm a manager in operations usually. Uh, but definitely being a manager, I have to uh, do uh, many reports and stuff. So this video, if you're like uh, specially came here to understand like how much time you would need, uh, then definitely this is for you. But this is from my perspective and the learning of, uh, I would say the way people learn and the time of frame that people would take is different for different people. All right. But this is more like which helped me out. And that is what I'm sharing here. All right. So stay tuned till the end, guys. Let's do this. So, guys, uh, for me, it took around two months. Two months is like a good enough uh, time uh, to, you know, go through the uh, like the materials that we have. We have to go through the materials, right? Like the Microsoft Learn have few materials, right? And there are materials that are available in the online platforms as well. That is free of cost. Some of them are free of course, like in YouTube and stuff. So uh, it took me around two months. I will break that two months uh, into parts, right? Which will help you to understand what you can do in those uh, two months, right? So you can take any time frame in that two months, right? But these are the things that I did. And um, th this is the sequence which I would feel that can help you out as well uh, as it helped me out. Uh, and the... Uh, Part by part that I'm uh, as of now going to discuss is like part one, part one wherein you have to learn, right? Now, in order to learn, you have to go through any materials that are available online, either paid or free. I would suggest go for Udemy, um, which gives you, you know, the courses which uh, are like the cost is also minimal. When you get their offer, you can go for their courses, but make sure that it's not lengthy enough that you are putting too much of time only to go through the video and learn and stuff, right? No need to do that. Go for an eight hour, eight to 10 hours course. That's it. You know, you would find plenty of uh, courses in Udemy to go through. I will put down some of the important ones in the description and you can go through it, right? So don't waste course, like around 30, 20, 30 hours to just go through the video courses. Make sure you do it quickly by taking an 8 to 10 hours goal that would be enough for you and then the next thing is like you have to go through microsoft learn uh, the courses uh, the course that we have uh, by microsoft especially for the um, pl300 exam right so make sure you go through the pl300 uh, exams microsoft learns uh, course material um, that you have to read through it's not a video they are read through definitely you there are a few videos which you can find it uh, which are like more like you know uh, summarization of everything so you can uh, go through uh, those uh, video learnings at the end which are like more like summaries and also uh, read through uh, the materials that we have from microsoft one so likewise in the first phase uh, of that two months you are learning Power BI, understanding it, which is very important. All right. So that is one thing. Next thing is you have to try out things. Try it out. All right. I mean, do it practically. Do things practically so you know step by step where what is. And this, the Udemy courses and some of the Udemy courses will have something to do as a practice. They will have resources. And uh, definitely you try those out. Uh, you know practically uh, do not go 
um, into the exam only with theoretical knowledge. Obviously, uh, uh, Power BI, understanding Power BI, doing data analytics, these things you have to do um, it and then learn. That would be the best way to understand you know, the different aspects of um, Power BI, different steps that are involved. And you would uh, see that there would be few questions which would be asked only about the steps, like um, step one, step two, step three, step four. What uh, what are the steps? Likewise, they will ask you. So in those scenarios, it would definitely help, right? So uh, try try it out, do it, and then learn. Next uh, is the last part, wherein you have to go through uh, the practice exams uh, or the practice questions go through the practice questions uh, and practice exams and learn uh, all right and uh, just see like where you stand in which concepts uh, like uh, you uh, need help so this would be the last part in that two months wherein you're doing a lot of practices uh, with the help of practice exams right as much like try to do as much as practice as you can so that you you are well prepared in the exam uh, and this exam as you know would be around like uh, 55 60 minutes and you have to uh, you know solve uh, one question in less than like two minutes so you will um, be able to uh, you know get the, get through these uh, questions quickly because you have done a lot of practice questions and practice exams right and that's why you have to uh, do as many practice exams as you can uh, there are few uh, websites and applications that are available that I use. Uh, you can also find, uh, you know, uh, in Google, when you Google it out, you can find some more as well. It's not like you have to use uh, what I'm just recommending here in the description. I'll put those links in the description. Uh, one, uh, what I remember uh, is, uh, you know, uh, the Microsoft, uh, Microsoft practice exams, which I did. But they were very basic and very simple. So don't... Uh, Think that if you get a good, uh, you know, uh, score in the Microsoft Learns exam for PL 300, you're going to do really good. It's not like that um, because those exams are pretty simple. All right, uh, you need to uh, do uh, some practice exams through the PL 300 application. Uh, now, this is not a sponsored, ex um, but this is not a sponsored um, video from any of these websites or applications. The, and uh, this is a very honest video wherein um, I am giving this advice based on my experience that I got when I was when I passed this exam. Yeah, so uh, you can uh, go through the website called as um, Measure Up. You can go through that website and try to give that practice exam, which are like a very good um, uh, questions and close enough to the exam and even PL 300 application you can use it so these are the two things that i used and uh, there are a few a few uh, like uh, free videos in youtube which discuss about uh, the questions uh, right some questions and they even answer it in the youtube video there are some udemy courses which only uh, have you know content as you know solving the question and giving you the answers so you can go through those as well so if you have done like enough factors of um, you know these mock exams and tests you will be well prepared so by the end of the two months uh, you will be prepared for the exam and uh, you will have some confidence uh, and based on that you can go ahead and then give the exam with all all the might and definitely you would pass it out if you have any questions um, feel free to put that in the comments and ask me I'll be happy and glad to help you all out I hope this video was helpful to you all uh, and if you found that helpful, and then please put your valuable comments uh, here. Uh, please share it with your friends, your colleagues. Um, and also, do not forget to like this video if you have come so far here. Uh, that would help my channel to grow. And this video would be going on to you know, uh, as many people as it can. And it would help out uh, those um, aspiring PL300 data analysts. Uh, you know uh, students so guys see you in the next video till then take care and bye for now